guys, welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to comment on this video. We're having a drawing, a giveaway in the month of July, and we're giving away an Ishii Novice 4 ready to fly bundle with the case, the goggles, the quadcopter, and everything. It has GPS on board. It's an analog version of a quad, so you can use it with any analog FPV goggles, but it also comes with a really nice TX12 controller, and it comes with a set of goggles. I mean, everything you need to fly, so i um, super excited about that. And I'm also super excited to show you this review today. This little quad, in my opinion, is really solid. It's really well done. It is extremely small. It's 1.6 inch props on here. They are quad props. And I have to say the tune on here is actually really nice. So we have a nice design again from Diatone. The Roma series is doing really, really well. And I feel like without the prop guards, this little guy would be a beast. Make sure you don't use the longer bolts. When you take the prop guards off, the same bolts here, you can kill these motors. If the, the bolt goes up into the motor, it will have a problem and you'll have a, a motor brown out. So um, use the shorter bolts that come in the pack. You get a ton of accessories with anything from Diatone as well. So um, they do give you a TX card here to use for your frequency table and it has a little keychain attachment there so you can take it with you uh, on the road with your Roma F1 so that way you know which bands you need to switch to and which channel and number. If you're doing any micro racing that's kind of nice to have this on a keychain on the fly. Um, you also get USB cable and it is USB-C flight controller. It is a Mamba F4 flight controller on here and it had something interesting that I noticed on the very top of this quad. It had a split on the very top of it. On the top stack, it has a split TX and RX there. So um, it is a little 400 milliwatt, I believe it's 400 milliwatt VTX on here running 5.8. And it also has an MSR receiver. So it also it can bind up to any FR Sky radio, which is nice on D16. So it has quite a long range on it. It'll get you out there as far as like an XM plus. It also has nice, looks like close to three millimeter beveled carbon fiber unibody on the bottom. Check that out. And they already have the antennas taped down on the bottom and the motors on each arm coming off the quad. Up top we have aircraft aluminum side plates here for the run cam camera. I feel like the camera looks pretty good. And again, a dipole on the back of this one with the TPU mount and three bolt top plate release, which is also kind of convenient. And I gotta tell you, this little guy is super lightweight. It's so crazy that you can fly this little guy indoors or outdoors on 3S or 4S, 72 grams without a battery on there. So uh, well under 250 grams. I mean, this is an ultra micro here. So 130 grams with a 3S 650, 130.9, and then with my battery of choice, my favorite battery to fly on here was actually a 525. Um, I know they recommend a 300 milliwatt or a 300 milliamp battery, but I just feel like three minute flight time is too short. So 525 gets us up to 126.9 grams. And that way we can fly for four and a half minutes per battery. So um, I like these. And, and if I can find some of that are GMB, I'll put those down in the link below because um, these are out of stock at the moment, but they also have uh, a GNB 650, which I did fly on there, and that gets me over five minutes flight time if I'm just cruising. Um, if I'm trying to do flips and rolls and freestyle and things, this battery, these motors will still, you know, you'll still get three and a half minutes to four minutes on this battery. And this one's getting kind of large. The problem with going this large on this quad, it's not the power system. It's actually the strap that they give you is too short to hold this battery. So what I did was I took an older strap and I cut it with a pair of scissors and just made a, a micro strap out of a, a full size iFlight strap. And that goes through there and hold any size battery you want to put on there. I feel like the 850 milliamp is too big for there, so uh, for this quad. So I think 650 is about the max you want to go with this little guy. But super fun in stability mode. And if you want to crank it up and fly fast and do freestyle outside with this little guy, it has a pretty slow flip and roll rate. So um, I felt like it's kind of tuned for beginners and for cinema. 
you can also put the Insta360 Go on top of this one. I saw someone had a TPU mount for it, so there might be some type of file out there. If you have a 3D printer, you could print your own mount and then put this little guy on top. And then I think what you could do is just put the strap through the bottom plate here. There's a little bit of space down here to add a strap through the bottom. So you put the battery on the bottom and have your camera up top for your cinema videos. That would be pretty cool. So let's go ahead outside now. Let's do some flying with the little Roma 1. And uh, let's give this a flight test. We'll come back in and give some final thoughts and uh, feelings on the, the smallest of the Roma series. So cool to see this one come out. The Roma series is just killing it lately. Really, really nice stuff. Here we go. All right, guys, welcome back from the flight test. That was fun. This little quad, first thing I noticed on takeoff was that the motors felt really punchy. I mean, these are 1103s, and I've talked about this before on the channel. Like, the 1103s is like the micro brushless, like, sweet spot for me. And these are 10,000 kV. So if they would have higher on the kV, it would have just, it would have been juicier, but it would have had a lot of amp draw on the battery. So. I think they did like a moderate KV on these and it gives us good power, but a little longer flight time than like a two minute flight time. I've seen micros in the past just have too high KV, 16,000, and they just like suck the battery life down super fast and they puff your, your batteries. The small batteries are more likely to catch on fire and have problems uh, when you're charging them or using them out there. I've had some of these smaller batteries just burst into flames. so. Um, Sometimes these micros can be super powerful, so you have to watch out for your, your smaller batteries. But one thing that I could be critical about on this design is like I felt like they could have done like a single layer 
flight controller, AIO, and ESC stack, and it would have been uh, just a little more roomy in here. It just seems like it's there's not a lot of room left after we have all of this gear stacked in there. But um, the thing about that is it made it a little harder to connect the USB-C cable. So you need that 90 degree turn cable here to be able to get to this flight controller because you can't go straight in because of the prop guards. Uh, but mine came with the prop guards on it. And once I got this hooked up, I was inside beta flight pretty quick. So um, nice, they also give you a full size USB cable with that. And this one fits nicely in this case. And I didn't get extra prop guards. So if you buy this one, you're gonna get extra prop guards in here. Dytone always gives you some extra ones, but you're not likely to break these, I don't think. They have dual strut support on each strut, which is nice. And they feel like nice, hardcore, like ABS plastic. They do feel really nice. And we also get explanation of the Mamba F405 Mini in here, the MK3. And this supports up to 4S on this ESC which is cool. They have some QR codes here and I love that Diatone gives us like a full scale diagram of everything on here. It has how to hook up Crossfire Nano, the new Mamba MSR receiver, where that goes. You, know, you have four, it's like we have three cables coming off that S-Bus, ground, five volt. So the same exact wire setup as an XM Plus receiver, super easy. And that goes over to RX1 there. You also have a three volt tab on this one for Spectrum guys that want to hook up a Spectrum receiver so you guys aren't left out in the cold there. And TX500, so it looks like this VTX will go up to 500 milliwatt. And then there's also set up for the ultra tiny 400 milliwatt. But this one came with the TX500, which is cool. And it also has camera set up and you can also add a buzzer in there, but I'm not sure if there's a buzzer in the bag. Sometimes, most of the time, Diatone includes the buzzer, which is super cool. So you get two battery straps as well. You get another cable for hooking up to an RXSR. A lot of you guys are using those recently. So there's that cable right here. And you get an extra camera cable and this little support QR code in here as well. So if you need to contact Diatone, uh, the guy on Facebook is Carl. Um, I forgot his last name, Carl on Facebook. But, um, you can find Carl on the Diatone website or, or the Facebook uh, page. If you want to see some of his posts, he's always posting like new stuff from Diatone. And we also have the Roma F1 frame assembly diagram, which is cool. This hasn't been included recently, but you could get your own frame and put your own components on there. But I feel like everything from Diatone is usually pretty solid. Um, I had some quality issues with some of the Tina whoops that came out. If you guys remember those, I had one catch on fire, but then again, I put 4S on it, so that was my fault. I just thought it was another 4S micro coming down the pipe, and uh, it happened to be, I believe it was a 2S or maybe a 3S. So here's another receiver connection uh, for applying your RXSR straight to the harness. just shows you how to do that, which is cool. Diatone official website. And I'll put a link down below to this little guy, uh, my Banggood link. If you want to buy one, you can benefit the channel, which is super cool. And this MSR receiver, it's S-Bus receiver. Five, it, it has to have 5 volt on it, and it will set up just like the XM Plus in Betafly. So um, really cool. You just, to bind it, all you have to do is take the top plate off and use your bamboo skewer. I always use these because this won't short out the flight controller. Um, some guys will use like a driver to do it, but you're kind of taking a chance if you use a driver. So um, that's metal really close to your electronics. So I find that these work great. And so it was it was super easy to bind up and I, and I had it bound as quickly as an, an XM Plus. And they also gave you some beta flight setup for the ports, uh, ports information in here. And it also has smart audio on that Mamba TX500 which is cool. And this is the user manual for that. And it looks like five bands, probably 48 channels on that frequency table. And that's your frequency table here, but they also include that card, which is also nice. And you can take this along with you. And here's another Mamba 
F25 MK2, and this is your ESCs right here. Peak current, 35 amp. That's pretty good, and it supports up to a 4S LiPo. I've flown 4S on 1103s, uh, but generally when you're flying 4S on a micro, a lot of times they're 1105s or 1106. Um, so I'd be cautious with a 4S battery, but I did do it, and mine didn't blow up. So um, it does say on the Banggood website that this is a three, 2 and 3S quad, so um, be careful running 4S. I'm just going to tell you for sure. You also get some extra pads in here and you get tons of extra hardware from Dotone, which I love. All kinds of different sizes here. You get M2 all the way up to like a nine millimeter bolts there. And here's your buzzer. You do get a buzzer in there and all you have to do is solder that on and then plug it into this buzzer. This little harness there and you get what looks like prop nuts but I didn't use these because they were kind of just push on and they they stay on nicely they didn't fly off they're pretty tight you get an extra TPU mount back here as well for it looks like maybe like that micro crossfire um, immortal T there is a new miniature immortal T you can put on this guy for for crossfire you get some extra tape in here for the arms and you get an extra looks like a, a, a static shield it goes in between the flight controller and the ESCs. I mean, I, I love Diatone for the fact that we just, they give you so much extra when you buy something and you get a nice case. And a lot of times they just come like, you know, ready to rock, which is super nice. Um, I just wish it had like longer straps in there. So I feel like the qualities there on this one, again, kind of another winner in their Roma series that you could just bind up and fly and not have a lot of problems and it flew fast and smooth so you can slow it way down inside if you want to lower your camera angle like that or you can raise it high just bring it higher up and fly fast and do freestyle outside so it'd be a good, kind of a good freestyle trainer if you take these prop guards off too by the way yeah it's going to be super super fun uh, but then you might break more props so once you get to be a better pilot you can have the best of both worlds here indoors with the prop guards take them off for some outdoor freestyle with this quad because these little guys don't have a lot of tumble like your typical tiny whoop and tum by tumble i mean a big power loop and then a lot of tumble at the bottom of the power loop when you come back around the flight controller freaks out and the quad kind of does this but i didn't have any of that with this quad and it it did really really well in the flight test so you can check out the link down below for this one and snag a roma F1, 1.6 inch quad. So um, it's kind of a hybrid quad, uh, freestyle quad, cinema, or indoor quad, like a little mini whoop. So I think this one's fun. 180 bucks is not too bad. But thanks for watching my flight test, guys. And uh, again, don't forget to be sure to comment and subscribe on this channel to get entered in for July's giveaway, the Ishi Novice 4 with GPS Ultra under 250 gram send it rig super fun so um, be sure to do that and i will see you on the next one guys take care stay humble and be kind to each other in the fpv community i'll see you on the next one